Okay, so it is 12 a.m. on Monday morning, and that technically means Reading Rush has started, right? I know that I haven't gone to sleep yet, but I think that it would be fun to read the first part. Oh, there's water damage on this copy. The first part of this book. What's it say? To the Spirit, without whose assistance neither this book nor I would have been written. beautiful nectar of life. Good morning. I am awake. I know that my voice isn't even quite ready for the day yet. I know that I started reading last night. I, I stayed up for about an hour and a half reading. I got a little bit of a ways in. Definitely, if you've never read The Color Purple, the first, the very first letter is a trigger warning for sexual abuse. So make sure you're aware of that the very first page is is very difficult to handle. Anyways, I'm on page 43, so really just, just getting into it, and I'm trying out one of the challenges today by matching the book cover to my outfit. So I think I did fairly well. I've got my uh, white little sailboat tank top on. It's white, it doesn't, it has blue sailboats on it, but um, I think that kind of works, right? And then my purple Cardi. So look at we're matching. <laughs> I kind of thought that was silly and fun. I don't know how many days I'll be able to do this, but I have a couple other outfits. I think I will work with some of the other books, so this should be fun. Okay, so for breakfast, I am having some uh, oatmeal. It's like iced coffee flavor. I've never tried it before, so that's my breakfast with my coffee, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of reading, obviously. <laughs> So I'm heading into the office now to do a little bit of paperwork and make some copies and whatnot. So I actually have Gulliver's Travels on uh, audiobook. So I'm going to be listening to that while I'm driving. So I am already starting on book number two. So far, I'm a fair amount of the ways into Color Purple. And it's been tough. There's definitely... Um, it's difficult as a woman to read about how badly women have been treated. It can be very painful. And so it's, there's been a few moments where I'm just, you know, especially strong women who are being torn down for being strong. You know, they're, what they're trying to do is just be a strong woman who takes care of themselves and shows that they are just as important as anybody else. And then they just get beat down. It's just horrifying. about halfway through the color purple so far it's so great but just so many elements of it are devastating so it's definitely a hard read it's a little strange because I've seen the movie so I am picturing the characters and the actual scenes from the movie I sometimes I wonder is that good is it bad the nice thing about reading is you get to be creative and come up with your own images when you're reading based on what's going on in your brain but when you've already watched the movie you tend to have specific actors in your head I wonder how much that changes how you feel about a book do I like the book more because I've already seen the movie and I can visualize everything or you know is it just a great book Okay, so I just finished Color Purple, and uh, definitely a tearjerker there. Uh, great first book, though. Definitely a great first book, and I really love stories where characters are dynamic. And that's one thing you can definitely say for all the characters in the Color Purple. So I'm a really big fan, and uh, that's my day one. It's finished one book down. 245 pages. I listened to a little bit of Gulliver's Travels, but I'll probably listen to that more later in the week. 
and I don't know yet what book I'm going to choose next. I'm probably going to start The Dreamers, so I'm excited about that. And I will see you later. So after a great day of reading, I figured what better way to finish the day than a walk along the Nooksack River. It's beautiful, the sun's going down, and our dog is very happy. Mm -hmm.